It's the liquid gold. I mean, we gotta have it. In Arizona and the Imperial Valley, the Colorado River is used to grow 15% of the United States lettuce, melons, and cotton. Rick Sellers is a farmer who's grown produce near Yuma, Arizona for the past 30 years. 98% uh, comes from the Colorado River. So we need it, it's our only source down here. Yuma is known for its complete lack of rain, averaging just over three inches of rain a year. It's classified as the driest city in the country. We need our water. Our Yuma's not going to be here. We germinate every acre of our produce uh, with sprinklers, and that saves us a ton of water, a ton of money. But that may not be enough. California and Arizona farms are being asked to change from canals and sprinklers to drip irrigation. Farmer Davy Brooks does that already, but says the cost is prohibitive. To put two drip lines in here, to pick them up and environmentally get them Get, get them thrown away correctly, you're, you're probably looking at seven to $800 an acre more than growing with furrow water. In a future with less water predicted along the Colorado River watershed, the land of produce plenty Americans are accustomed to could soon be a memory. If there's less water, I would just cut my farm down. Price of your vegetables are gonna go up and up and up and up. If that forecast becomes reality, Rick Sellers sees no other alternative but to convert to drip irrigation no matter the cost. It's gonna be an expensive venture, but uh, it's, it's something that can be done. But uh, on a grand scale, the whole valley, 50,000 acres, it's gonna take a little time. But it, it's probably gonna happen. <laughs>